Hi, I'm Mary Berg. I'm a VTS in dentistry and I'm here to talk about some of those unusual pieces of equipment we see in the dental suite and how we should correctly use them. Okay, so can you guess what this is? I'm getting a Jacques Cousteau vibe. I'm not really sure. M miner's lamp. <laughs> it is a client compliance enhancer. So when you're talking about your dental recommendations, you put it on like this and then you shine this light into the client's eyes and you turn it on and they get scared and agree to whatever you're recommending. This is uh, for discovering new types of algae at the bottom of the seafloor. These are actually a set of dental loops that we can use um, to visualize those little tiny teeth that we see in cats uh, or even in small dogs. It really does help bring to light those little tiny defects in these teeth. And then also light is very, very important when it comes to doing a dental procedure and we want to make sure we have good lighting to see everything we have in that mouth. This expands a very large dog's mouth and this holds a massive tooth. That's a shark actually, yeah, shark. I actually do really think I know what this is. I think these are spring-loaded mouth gags and I know that from Mary Berg you have to be very, very careful and never use them in cats. Cats have been reported to wake up with blindness after having this in their mouth for any length of time. And um, the dog just wakes up with a very sore jaw and we don't want to have that added pressure. If you do want to use any type of gag at all, uh, a small syringe cover cut to the right length or even a needle cap cut to the right length is all you need to have. I think this looks like something that would be very effective in pushing back your cuticles. Definitely looks like a dental drill. Yeah. And this is as close as I want it to get. This is that hand piece that everybody's kind of a little leery about when we go to our own dentist. But this is used on our high speed delivery units. And it comes with these little sets of drill bits. Um, these drills, however, or these burrs are not meant to be used over and over again. Usually it's kind of a one and done. Use them one time or several teeth in one animal and then you need to be replaced on a regular basis. If we use dull instruments, it can actually cause our animals to have trauma to the bone that we do not realize because our patients can't tell us it hurts after the extraction. Nail buffer. Oh yeah, that's it right there, right? This looks to me like a whetstone and I might use it to sharpen my uh, chef's knife before I chop up my vegetables. This is actually an Arkansas flat stone that we can use to sharpen our instruments in our clinic. Sharp instruments make our procedures much easier and much faster to do. And we can simply use this by just sharpening the tool and getting our instrument sharp for the next patient. Meow.